guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video yes Barney star of the show is here too today I have one of my favorite videos ever it is a white company dupes video except this one is probably a little bit different to the ones I've previously done just because I've really focused in on getting an exact dupe for an item from the white company However, it's getting pretty hard to do, seeing as though I've done a lot of the White Company items that are still online now. So I'll leave a list of all my previous videos down below that I have done for White Company dupes. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to catch up and wanted to see any previous years. I like to do these seasonally. So this, in theory, would be an autumn one. However, I do have some Christmassy bits within this video as well. And there's definitely some more inspired pinterest images that i've seen for all different types of uh, excuse me bring it back here thank you that's my water that's not yours hopefully i will get round to filming another one in the lead up to christmas with maybe some more ideas but yeah this is definitely an accumulation of some white company jutes white company inspired items some Pinterest DIY autumn decor type things that I've seen that I thought I could just share with you guys more than anything. I've got images to share on screen so that you can create these DIYs yourself. Barney, that's my water. No. So first things first, here is your reminder. This is their latest brochure. All you need to do to get it for free is simply go onto their website and then at the very bottom there's like a request a brochure section, which I always do. Sometimes they send them out without you needing to do that, you know, if they've already got you on their mailing list. Sometimes it seems like you don't get them, so it's a bit of hit and miss. I don't know how it works, but I tend to just put in my email every time there's a new brochure so that they can send one out. So this is the Return of Cozy one, and it's got loads of autumn goodness within. It's even got, okay, here we go. It's even got this page here, which has the fireside scent here. If you actually do like a little rub here to release the fragrance. I think this is my favorite uh, scent that the White Company do over the winter one. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try and get my hands on some this year. I actually went into the White Company the other day and they only had a couple of items left. But I want a big candle, I want the fragrance oil, um, room mist. I've got a Reed Diffuser refill in Fireside in my little candle drawer, but I don't actually have the diffuser. And the lady at the White Company suggested those little bud vases that they do to just get some fresh reeds, which the Reed Diffuser refill comes with fresh reeds anyway, and pop it within one of those little bud vases. A nice little idea there that I didn't even think about, so I might do that actually. But yeah, I really wanna get my hands on a big candle this year. So I always get these, you can stack them up and create a bit of a display of White Company brochures and it's neutral because they're all gonna be the same size and white. So yeah, take this as your reminder to go and order your new brochure now. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanted to mention were these rectangle glasses. Some of these items that you'll see within this video you might have seen in previous hauls. Or failing that, you might see them in upcoming hauls. So just ignore that. I know some people just watch my White Company dupes videos on my channel, so they might have missed them. They might not see them in other videos. So anyway, this from Primark Home is a set of two glasses with rattan. So they look like this, and they're very similar to the Seagrass tea light holders that the White Company do. So this is obviously designed to be used as a tumbler, but it's definitely a good size to just pop maybe a larger tea light within to just have burning or maybe little votives, you know, like Yankee Candle do those votives that you could pop inside and have it as a little candle container. So this set of two actually is priced at five pounds, two pound 50 per one. Whereas the White Company ones, just referring to their website here, is 10 pounds for one tea light holder. Next up on my suggestions of DIYs, this is gonna be one of the suggestions rather than something here to share with you. But they have started doing these trivets in a seagrass material for hot plates, which I just thought looked really good if you're doing outdoor dining or hosting to have hot plates sat on them. They look really, really nice. But I feel that like you could definitely DIY with them with the amount of wreath, um, like metal starter 
kit things that you can get even just like from Hobbycraft for a couple of pounds and do some stuffing and wrap it around and even if it's not fire safe for hot plates even just as a trivet, it could be used instead as a little wreath or however you want to use it, really. So you could definitely DIY it. However, I have also seen a seagrass trivet online from, I think it's a brand called Nordic Nest for £6 in comparison to the £18 on the White Company. And I do really, really like it. And I think £6 is an absolute bargain. So last year I managed to get my hands on the little mini felt pumpkins that they did. I even picked them up in this sale, so I got myself a bargain. And this year they sold larger felt pumpkins, which again, if you buy some felt, some stuffing you could DIY yourself. They were £10 for one, and they also had the mini ceramic pumpkins as well this year at £8, which you could put as table place settings, napkin holder type things, or weights, I, I suppose. But I saw this large ceramic pumpkin in Primark recently that is completely white, completely neutral, and I'm obsessed with it. It's even bigger than the uh, Primark, Primark, the white company ceramic pumpkins. They're just minis that you just pop on, t on top of a napkin or as decoration. And the felt pumpkins I still don't think are even as big as this one, the ones that they've been doing for £10. So this is huge and it's only £6, mega bargain. So this is from Primark, it is new in. They also do little mini candles as well. I'm just obsessed with this, should have picked up more. Absolutely love it. An incredibly random white company dupe, this one. It's a travel dog bed. So they're now selling pet products. I've seen in the past they've done pet jumpers. They had a gray and white with a star on it last year. But yeah, they do dog beds. They do a beautiful kind of mattress style bed, which I have considered buying for Barney. Um, but this travel dog bed that they had online, I thought, you know what, we've got a couple of staycations coming up where either we live leave him in care or we bring him with us so by taking a travel bed it's just far easier than carting his massive bed that i've got from omelette with like hard legs and it's huge i don't even know if it fits in the car so it's just a no-go so this is super handy i just picked it up from amazon it is gray with little velcro straps that you just unpop and it rolls out into a flat kind of mattress style bed that from amazon was 29.99 and the one on the white company is 145 pounds another amazon find here that i've got at 14.99 that i previously bought or Danelm sell them for £10, but I've had one, my one for a while, otherwise I would have got the Danelm one, is a crossback linen apron, very similar to the one that the White Company are selling for £55. And this one that I have from Amazon is in this just plain and simple neutral stone colour. So like the name suggests, it is a cross back. So it's just one of these almost dress style ones that you, it's open at the back and you just simply pop it over your head and it literally fits like a mini dress would. You literally just pop that over, put your arms through. Pockets on the front. Very simple, linen. And I really, really like it. Even the White Company one, I feel like it's a good maybe Christmas gift for buying for someone if they're into baking or cooking a lot. Love that one. And it is nice if you're getting someone a gift with it being from the White Company. But that is the dupe that if you're buying it for yourself, I think is just as good. I've seen the ones in Danelm in store as well at £10 and they are really, they're just the same as that one, really good quality. Um, okay, so another little suggestion I had, a little DIY, let me just try and find it, here it is, is by doing a little makeshift white company glass jar or cloche or whatever it may be. So I picked this glass lidded canister up from Cherries. I work with Cherries quite often, it's like an online supermarket essentially when you go into the white company and ask or online ask for gift wrap they include these little white company stickers which are just completely transparent so i thought you could maybe pick a glass canister like this or a glass lidded cloche and just simply take off one of the stickers and just pop it on the clear jar and you've got a what looks to be something from the white company when in fact it's not <laughs> so all i've done is just pop that sticker on the front there and i don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's just got the white company written on it so you could pop this in the bathroom with cotton pads which will fill it with white things within so the white company 
logo will actually stand out. Um, you could use it in a utility with maybe dishwasher tablets or something. Okay, this is an item that I have previously shown within a B&M haul and it's this fluted hurricane. It's a ribbed candle holder, they call it. Seven pounds this retails for in B&M and it's very similar to one that they've got currently on the white company that's not fluted with like a mango wood base, which is really nice, really lovely. But I actually prefer the fluted and I do prefer the lighter wood. So I would opt for this one anyway and it's cheaper. So it's seven pounds versus the White Company one at 35 pounds and I really, really like this. We'll stick with the theme of fluted glassware and they have on the White Company Morton tumblers, they're called the range of glassware which you can use for drinking out of and I thought they look really nice. They're kind of like the firm living ones as well where they come with a carafe that's fluted with a glass over the top of it so that you can pop it in maybe a guest room for when people are staying over they've got some fresh water in a glass but anyway these are actually from Poundland they're only one pound each and they are toothbrush holders so the Morton tumblers on the white company are 26 pound for four whereas these are just a one pound each four pound for the set if you were to buy all four I just picked up two I thought two would look nice in a guest room with some fresh water like I'm having guests over all the time. Well, we will do once we've fully renovated. I can't wait to have people over, so yeah. I am definitely one of those people that would prefer to host than go to someone's. What would you prefer, to be the host or to be hosted? We have another B&M purchase here, and this time it is this hanging heart uh, decorative thing. What's it called, Barney Boo? eucalyptus heart wreath this is from the juniper woods range it's only five pounds and it's so close to the white company one that they have it's unreal so it even has the little kind of foliage and it also has the jute wrapped heart on the middle there i think they have them in stars as well so they have them on the white company like this with the black exposed metal heart but they do also have them wrapped in jute which i thought it would be just as easy to pick up some natural jute twine this one again is from cherries that i just would wrap around the black one, I'm not just, I'm undecided on whether or not to do that though, because I do quite like the black accent, but it's an option. Easy enough to do, you just wrap it round, you could use some hot glue as well if you wanted to, to create the double jute version that they have on the White Company as well. So I've noticed that they've introduced these little hanging leaf, leaf? leaf decorations which are kind of in a bronzed effect with a jute hanging part which again you could just DIY with the jute yourself a leaf from the garden and use some bronze metallic paint either spray paint or some kind of thing to set it like that and literally create your very own I think obviously the sorry that's my phone I think obviously the white company ones look online anyway I've not seen them in person they look online to be a metal finish and they do a set of 12 for 15 pounds they also have a glittered branch for 15 pounds which similarly whilst on a walk whilst in your garden you could pick a twig sprinkle a little glitter on there or to be honest with you, I've seen quite a few images online of quite a large vase with just a simple twig, which, like I said, you just pick for free. And they look really effective. So I actually have a couple saved, images saved on my interest and interest, my Instagram and Pinterest. I just love the simplicity of it. Kind of has a slight seasonal touch to it for autumn and winter but equally all year round looks fab. I definitely prefer foliage and things like that as opposed to flowers. I've previously mentioned these pumpkins which I showed in a video quite a while ago now of um, like a home sense wall TK Maxx haul. So for $4.99 I found this little set of f 10 mini pumpkins and this is more like the size of the ceramic ones that they sold at eight pounds but obviously 4.99 this one is and you could just spray paint them white same with these larger ones these ones are a bit weightier so these i'd say are more like the size of the felt pumpkins that white company have and this one is 7.99 for three and then i just picked up from dunelm the rust-oleum chalky finish furniture paint in chalk white because i feel like that chalky kind of finish will look really nice on those. So I think I'm just gonna spray paint them and either pop them in a display jar, you could use them, like I said, as little place settings, decorative ornaments in and around the house. I think they have in Poundland like glittery pumpkins, again, 
just spray them white and they'll even have a bit of texture to them or what i've seen a couple of people diy online is the poundland pumpkins like that and just buy a set of like board pins you know the little round gold ones or silver depending on which it is in your color theme and just doing a kind of pinned effect i think they look really cool as well a bit more snazzy i've even seen people diy pumpkins with toilet rolls by simply getting a toilet roll getting some fabric of your choice whether it be from an old tea shirt or something or going out and buying some fabric this actually is something i found in lidl and it's a sleeping bag liner but it's essentially just a cottony canvas material that i thought would diy beautifully into some kind of pumpkin and there's plenty of material here because it's a full sleeping bag liner and i think i got that for a couple of pounds so toilet roll that fold it into the middle and then you could get a stalk from the garden and stick it in and wrap the stalk around in twine or just keep the stalk exposed as an actual twig toilet roll material you've got yourself a pumpkin i suppose this would be better suited for a christmasy themed diy dupes video from the white company but i have spotted these christmas ribbons from bnm you can get them three for five pound or two pound each they're six pound per one in the white company and they are already on sale on the white company online however the ribbon is actually white with i think it's a silvery font so I even prefer the colouring of this one from B&M. It's kind of a champagne bronzy gold colour with white font writing. I prefer non-glitter at Christmas as well because it can get a little bit messy glitter at Christmas. White Company do a lot of glitter things actually which I'm quite surprised about because glitter can get everywhere. It does look pretty though. Again another kind of festive one that they have are place card holders with the pine cones that I just picked up this big bag of 300 grams of pine cones from Hobbycraft. In fact, I got loads of bits from Hobbycraft that are definitely not white company dupes, but really nice Christmassy decor. So I might show you those. Stay tuned for that in a second. But these pine cones would dupe perfectly into the little place card holders. I've spotted these ones in a charity shop at £1.49 where they actually have the place card holder metal part that you can just simply stick into the top of one of these pine cones create that look you can sprinkle them with a bit of glitter if you prefer they had plain ones as well and then you could even just if you didn't have these as the place card holders just use these kind of metal loops which again you can just pick up from Hobbycraft. really easy dupe for the white company ones and you get loads in there way more than you'll ever need so you could use a lot of these just for decor purposes potpourri bowl however you want to use them again new this year which i think is kind of like the alternative to the felt pumpkins that they had last year are little felt acorns they're hanging decorative piece that again you could use as little table place settings so you get a set of eight from the white company for 15 pounds and i found this in home bargains they are just little felt sets which actually make little animals i just got it with the intention of using the actual felt to diy some little felt pumpkin pumpkins acorns i suppose you could do pumpkins as well but then i did spot this one in b&m this wreath which actually had some acorns on it which i even prefer the look of as opposed to the felt ones so these ones are actually made these little acorns are made with a a hessian lining and then the seagrass wrapped around or i suppose you could use jute or something but this wreath is beautiful it's got little cotton stems on it some leaves that are definitely not glittery which again i prefer they're kind of a brushed bronzy gold color these leaves and then these extra long pine cones just a perfect little wreath actually 15 pounds this one was i'm going to pop this on our front door oh big stretch i can't not say all oh, big stretch when he does a big stretch i'll show you those bits that i got from hobbycraft feeling real festive with them because they're quite a lot of christmasy decoration bits i suppose i could save them but you'll probably see them if i actually do a a decorate with me for christmas uh, but this is another diy that i thought would look really good for autumn i've seen online they have some gorgeous paper sacks paper bags like this one that i found in Pri at primark in poundland which i did show in my latest poundland haul they had a few different designs this plain marble one i thought about spraying white with the rust-oleum paint and you could do a diy sign on the front or use stencils which i think would look quite effective 
creative to do a kind of farm fresh pick your own pumpkin patch just something like that to diy and turn this sack into what is just a marble sack into more of a seasonal decorative piece you could pop some foliage and flowers in you could pop some pumpkins in and have it sat on your porch okay and then these are the bits that i got from hobby craft uh not really so much white company dupes but fun diy piece in fact this is a diy that i forgot to mention this hessian butting butting bunting i got from poundland as well literally a pound no writing on that one so you could do happy halloween or fall or autumn written on in white paint maybe and then they also have this in hobbycraft which i picked up for christmas because i do really like it has that style without need to even diy so this is a hessian bunting that just says merry christmas on it two meters five pounds then i've got these two paper mache reindeer decorations this one has his little antlers um protected so i'll just leave them like that for now but these are five pounds and three pounds i decided to pick up one of each so they can kind of sit side by side in the wreath section the seasonal area where you first walk in at least when you first walk in in our hobby craft they have these uh diy pumpkin wreaths so it's just a plain black wire which in itself i quite like and it kind of bends like a round pumpkin so you could have this sat on a worktop side maybe in front of some chopping boards as decoration but i also thought you could again reuse the jute ribbon that you could pick up and wrap the entire wreath so it kind of is a jute pumpkin i might do that with this one actually and this pumpkin wire wreath was five pounds they also have these white ceramic pumpkins in again for the same price point i think they were five pounds if you compare it to the primark one for size difference there you go it's quite a big one that hobby craft one and they have loads of other white ceramic bits as well this leaf included a little leaf bowl which i thought was so adorable it's kind of a maple leaf so it's got that canadian farmhouse american style might pop some pine cones in or some mini felt pumpkins from the white company that one i think was actually only three pounds and then i'm pretty sure the rest of these were two pounds although i did pick up some black velvet ribbon for a few pounds this was you pay per meter for this i think it was one pound 15 per meter and i picked up three meters worth and it is black velvet ribbon which if you remember from my uh christmas videos last year all my baubles i replaced the cheap kind of looking glittery ribbon with black velvet or mesh is another good alternative um, but i think black velvet looks really, really expensive they've got gray velvet ribbon in hobbycraft a white velvet ribbon and if you look at all the kind of baubles and everything on the white company they all tend to have like a gray velvet ribbon or black I've got these little mini linen bags which again something that i've seen on the white company recently are these little lavender bags that they have i think they're actually in a cotton bag but i thought the linen was quite nice so you could just pop some fresh linen pop some essential oil on there the little wooden balls that you can pop essential oils on and just hide them within drawers or in bedding or cushion covers this was only two pounds for the set of them linen bags i've got some more ceramic bits these hanging stars christmas decorations and then this acorn which i suppose is better suited to this time of year if you did some kind of a wreath that you could pop these within or hanging door handle knocker type hanging decorative pieces hanging off a branch you know within the vase i was talking about a big twig from the garden you could hang some little acorns on for autumn and these little stars do have wording on them but i think i will just remove the red ribbon and pop some of the black ribbon on and keep these for christmas and then three other bits that i picked up for christmas again i think these are all two pounds each are uh, more ceramic dishes we've got the uh, star and tree and then last but not least this candle holder which is again in that tree shape but a ceramic finish i don't own anything like this i've never seen anything like this and this will complement quite nicely my white ceramic houses that i like to get or porcelain houses for a little christmasy scene i'm not going to claim this one as my own idea this is something that i saw rosie henshaw do i thought it was lovely so i'll leave a link to that video or, or screenshot somewhere whereby you can see what she created but it's essentially 
this from Poundland, this little herb garden trough which you could fill with stuffing, pop some pumpkins in, do a jute ribbon around the front and tie it into a big bow so you maybe cover up the herb garden if you wanted to. And then they have loads of bits in hobby craft that you can use to help create that. This shredding kind of fabric that you could pop within. And these as well, these are actually from the wreath making section from hobby craft. They also have the paper mache in the pumpkin shape along with the little mini pumpkins as well and these are all literally just a couple of pounds each they have the ceramic white baubles i've previously shown them in a video and they're the houses they also have this sign which should you wish to leave it plain and simple like this which i think i will i do quite like that look or maybe spray paint the whole thing in white and keep the jute ribbon or you could flip it and spray it white and do some kind of farmhouse style signage on the back as well so that is everything i have to share with you today don't forget little reminder to go grab yourselves your free white company autumn brochure the return of cozy they also give you a little 15 percent off a discount card as well which i'm going to be spending on some fireside candles i think so thank you so so much for watching any ideas yourself do feel free to message me on my instagram where i'll bookmark and save them maybe for my next white company dupes video i love getting suggestions and ideas from you guys too let me know which was your favorite idea suggestion from this video in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you want more white company dupes videos from me in the future i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys